Welcome back everyone to another episode of Castile, 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 where we are going to be the future rulers of Spain and the rulers and emperor of that land. Yeah, the rulers of that land. Because we, because apparently as Castile, we are not, we don't creatively name stuff. Anyways, we are continuing on with our let's play, and as you guys know, we are just kind of waiting around. I know it stinks, and I know you guys are probably like wondering, well, James, couldn't you just go to war to pass the time? I wish I could, and I wish I just realized that I am over my na my army limits. How much is that affecting my... Uh, reduce inflation. There we go. Uh, how much is that affecting my, uh, maintenance? Probably by a little bit. I hate when that happens, but... Um, you guys are probably wondering, well, James, why can't you just go to war to pass the time? You know, make the series a little bit more spicy. The problem... I would love to, guys, but the problem with that is that if I go to war by now, that basically just dips down our diplomatic... Yes! We got two We got two cardinals in the power now. Okay, so now we're getting closer and closer to becoming papal controller. We just need one more cardinal. Actually, we really just need the papal state to die, and then we have power. These guys are going to live for a long time, so we might actually become papal controller. That'd be kind of cool. But on the side note, like I was saying, is you guys are thinking, like, why did you just go to war to pass the time, and then, you know, everything will be all right. Well, if I go to war, guys, that basically will, when I finish the war and deplete whatever I need to to gain the diplomatic, basically I'll be using diplomatic points to, to, you know, piece the person out. And so that basically means that we just spent like the 10 year diplomatic points that we just gained up. So it really wouldn't be that helpful to us if we actually did do that. And let's see, we'll improve our relationships with them. Oh, by the way, does Denmark still have a personal union? Uh, under Norway. Only under Norway. Uh, Sweden somehow broke out. Good job, Sweden. Let's see. Are you guys under a person local leads a personal union? Okay. So you guys lead a personal union with with Lithuania. Now I'm not. Um, they might be a good potential alliance. Like Poland might be a good potential alliance if it can actually integrate Lithuania. Because this always happens. Poland usually gets a, a personal union under Lithuania, but they usually never do anything with it, and so Lithuania eventually breaks away. If they can actually integrate Lithuania, then they become a very powerful state over here and could actually be, you know, threatening to the rest of the world. Not particularly threatening to me because I'm I'm a great power crazy nutwad, so but powerful enough to other countries. Uh Okay. That's cool. So yeah, uh my friend just sent me a text, so I guess. Um Let's see. Let's see. Become paper control. You know what? We could actually possibly do this one. We could actually possibly do this. I'm not even like joking. If we just keep our heads down and just slowly build up, we could actually become paper controller. Let's try it. Let's actually try becoming paper controller. Okay? Because we could actually do it this time. Becoming the leader, the pope, the leader, the leader of everything, the pope. Ah, that made me feel so nice. Okay, we could get some marketplaces, but that gives us Diplo, the Diplo stuff, which is what I don't want. We can finish up our armory building. One more little place. Yes, we're almost done. We almost built armories on our entire coastline, which means our manpower recovery is still bad. Oh man, that's still bad. I thought we would like get major like cool stuff from like having major armories built everywhere. No, nope, it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad, but at least our army tradition is helping out. So. That must mean I actually have a decent army tradition right now. Yeah, 17.6. And I'm actually gaining some in naval tradition. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. 17.6 in naval tradition, but I'm actually gaining naval tradition. But that is awesome. I have a free diplomat right now, so what should I be doing? I can't diplo annex you, Portugal. I wish I could, but you guys are vastly, vastly too big for me right now. Um, and right now there is options to, let's see, could, could I establish a protectorate? No, you guys are way too advanced. Let's see, what about one of you guys over here? Could I establish a protectorate over you guys? I mean, you guys are pretty happy with me. Tajnia, would you guys accept? Uh, they belong to two advanced tech group to benefit from uh, being a protectorate. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just kind of looking at people and thinking, what can I do with them? Who could I Diplo Annex become mine? And I should look at the Roman Empire. 
because they're known for having all the little tiny states in them, so I don't want to diplo annex them. And could we possibly... Hmm. An expansion into the lands of Brittany. That would not be too bad for me, I don't think. Hmm. Let's improve relationships with them for now, and... We'll see about an expansion into Brittany later. That seems like a good idea, guys, don't you think? Don't you think? I think so. I definitely think so. So, yes. Alright. And let's see, we got more Papal Sea Power. Just keep this guy. I'm just trying to get wait until this guy comes into power, okay? That's all we're trying to do, is we're trying to get this guy right here into power. Because if he gets into power, and let's see, is anyone fighting me? Francis fight me a little bit. That's not good. Okay, let's just get a little bit more upwards. And if we can get that guy into power, we basically win the Papal Sea. And we lose 5 Prestige. Uh, Statesman dies? No. Let's just gain that. <laughs> Yeah, let's spread the love around, let's spread the love around. We're not losing our statesman. Our statesman is awesome. Like he gives us benefits to everyone. Now, let's see, we could raise wartime taxes. You know, why don't we raise wartime taxes while we're bored? Just fighting in this war. I mean, we're totally helping right now. We're totally helping the Austrians gain what they need for their land. Yeah. <laughs> we're told totally, like we are the most helpful nation of all. Let's just split up this army right here, go send half of them over here to our future capital of Madrid. And let's just wait here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's one place I haven't built an army for. Right here. There we go. We have literally built armies in every part of my country. Hallelujah, everyone. We are the best. So, yes. We built armies everywhere. We are doing everything right. Um. Hmm. Uh, dang it, the Cast the Catalina Patriots are starting to come out. That's not good. And finally, the war between Austria and Burgundy has ended. Austria apparently wanted following the release Brabant as a sovereign state. So, um, Brabant is now a country and gives Burgundy ne negative prestige and gives Austria positive inflation. Okay. So, yeah, it seems like Brabant is the new country that's around. Is that... Yeah, okay, so it's a three-province minor. Um, is it part of the HRE? Yes, it is part of the HRE, so... Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. Seems like we got another little state inside the Austrian... Austrian Empire, I should say. And over here, we have England slowly but surely taking over the rest of Ireland, which usually does happen. I mean, they've already, like, conquested this little part of Ulster. And there's a cardinal no longer loyal to us. Well... Shoot, that, I actually do need to pay attention to that cardinal because he's about to be ascended. And these guys are really not that old, so they'll be in the people see for a while. We just need these last two guys right here to die. Once these last two guys right there die, we basically control the Holy See. So come on, die, dear Saint German. Come on, you stupid cardinal, die. I don't. We don't need you around anymore. You're a holy man, but we need you to die. <laughs> it's for the greater good. Uh, okay. So, marketplaces. We could start getting marketplaces, but that would just decrease our Diplotech, which is what we don't need. Uh, now come to think of it, to speed this process up, I probably could get some... Probably could get, like, a Diplotech 2 guy. But, the only Diplotech 2 guy is a global trade power guy, and that's not... I, sorry guys, I just don't usually see the benefits of those kind of things and get administrative power, yes, because administrative power is awesome and I usually never gain a head in military power, okay, so we're halfway there. Good gracious, we are halfway there. Okay, and let's see, what's going on over here in Venice, I wonder? Let's see, oh, it seems like Milan is attacking Venice for some stupid reason. Oh uh, yeah, it seems like they're attacking over the claim of Bresca. Uh, that's cool. You know, that usually, that usually happens, but that's usually cool to see, always. Let's see. Norway is doing its Norwegian thing. Okay. Ooh! Try to ease the tension. I like that. I like that event. It makes everyone like us even more. Which is good. That means us, uh, Aragon doesn't hate us as much. They're now just still threatened by us. Ah! <sighs> Spain, stop it! This is my guy. You can go get your own guy down here. This is my guy, okay? I want to get that final... If I can get this final guy up there, then we basically have a big... 
Holy Sea Monopoly, which is what we want. Okay, let's get it in there. Invest. Yeah, I already know France is just right on my tail. Okay. Now let's see. So, on interesting note, Aragon is no longer, like, infuriated by us. Well, they no longer rival us, which is good. I uh, still could not diplo annex me if I want to. Uh, you guys, you guys can still consider us your rival. Ah, <coughs> 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 oh, sorry, people. I didn't mean to like cough there, but, like really dramatically. Um, France, you guys are still our rival. Don't know why. I mean, we were doing so good, man. I mean, Austria, me and him can be buddies, but yet me and you can't be buddies. Jeez, that's so like double standard right there. Okay, I formalized weight and scales, a great event. I love that event, actually. So there we go. And keep this guy underneath our control. You ain't get, you ain't get, oh my goodness, France is really like on my tail. They are like, literally like, on my tail. They will not give up. And now I have just tons of money and nothing to really, well, I should almost say I don't have nothing to spend it on. 39, 40, 41, 42, and then... 43, 44, and 45. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The priests, did I build two here? I'm gonna only build one. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now I have absolutely no reason to spend money. After I've just built up that, Bohemia's relationships are now 100%. So that means if things really, don't go, really do go hairy, they will not hate me. And they have a... You know, let's see. Next person I'm going to improve relationships with is our good friends, Hungry. Because the Hungry is the best friends ever. And apparently England is dealing with some type of, oh, oh wow, it seems like at some point the, the little state of, of, ah, Irish name, um, this is Ulster, this is, this is Dublin, or Merth as they call it, Lannister, Molster, I don't remember what that one's called, oh shoot, man, okay, seems like, okay, Okay, it seems like this one's not going to be ascended right now. I don't know why, but I think it's because me and France are fighting him back too much. And so now it won't be ascended. Unless, by chance, France gives up. There we go. Okay, he's now going to be ascended. We just need him to get up there. That's all we need him to do. We just need him to get up there, and then we finally gain it. Okay. Yes! Oh, yeah! Paper controller, baby! Now we get one extra Diplo mat. I wish we should. Let's just wait for an update. Apparently not. Apparently they don't do that anymore. Or oh, I lost the paper controller so quickly that I don't even realize it. Uh, yearly prestige, diplomats. Yeah, we should gain a diplomat. Why do we not have, like, three diplomats now? I mean, yeah, why do we not have three diplomats? Okay, so now we get a new mission. Solidify our people relations. Uh, just gain basically over 150. Let's see, how do people like us? Eh, that's actually pretty possible. We could probably get that pretty easily. Spread our culture to... It's probably Catalinian, so no. Continue the Reconquista. Yeah, none of these missions really appeal to me, so... Let's just continue on. <laughs> Sorry, but none of those missions appeal to me. They honestly do not, people. They are all just kind of like... Eh, missions. Okay. We're almost about to level up in our militaristic tech, which I'm pretty sure we're behind on because of our leader. Stay. I don't know why this guy has not died either, may I add. I really wish this guy would just bite the bucket. I, I'm not even, like, kidding you there. I really wish this guy would bite the bucket. Um, we'll kick the bucket. It's kick the bucket. Why was I saying bite the bucket? How does that make any, like, sense? <laughs> bite the bucket, everyone. Just bite the bucket. All right, so now we're starting to gain some... We actually have some reason to spend money again, which is awesome. We have a cardinal that's disloyal to us. It's the same guy that we're fighting for with France. Actually, I don't really care anymore. Now that I've gained the, the Holy See, I can get, I can compete against everyone because it gives me an extra papal bonus. Yes, and let's see, can we finally convert some of these provinces over here? Okay, and we just got some new tech group, new technology. Let's get that. Yes, and we finally, I think we finally got our first. Yes, we got cannons. Oh yeah, we can build cannons. Okay, and let's see, how close are we to actually getting this province down? Uh, okay, so that count is that. And, oh gosh dang, this is, you know, this is going to be insanely hard to, like, gain. Like, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think we'll ever be able to actually be able to do it. And yes, there's my free diplomat. Now I have my free diplomat. That's good. Okay. I don't really care about you, Lithuania, because you're under a personal union. So, sorry. You guys just don't matter. 
We can improve relationships with the Ottomans who are protectorates over somebody. Yeah, let's improve relationships with you guys because we don't really care. Naples, let's improve relationship with you guys. Because why not? Let's just let's just spread the love around, making sure that everyone likes us at, at every point. So that when we actually do aggressive expansion, no one will hate us. I mean, look at us. We're like the most liked guy in Europe. Look at that. The only <laughs> The only person that really hates us in Europe is France. That's not due to us, it's because they rivaled us. Which is stupid, because I did nothing to them. I mean, usually I'd like to say I did something to them, but I did absolutely nothing to them. I was a peaceful person, and I did absolutely nothing. I'm splitting my innocence. The Cardinal is no longer loyal to us. Boo-hoo. Yeah, it, it almost feels like I'm just going to give up on that guy, because if, if me and France just keep fighting over him, he's not going to gain it. He's not going to ascend to this level. So it's almost like maybe I should just give up, but I don't know. I'm stubborn. <laughs> and I do not like to lose things. So let's just gain that. Let's see, are we winning in this trade node still? Yes, we are. We've almost completely destroyed any Morocco influence. I'm getting like 5.8 out of this node. 51%, yeah, I own 51% of this node now, which is good. I'm completely displacing all the Portuguese influence, which is what I want to do. But Portugal is colonizing down here, which is what I don't like. That is not good, and apparently we can get a new global guy. Better relations over time. Let's get to better relationships over time. Because I do want to just sit here and improve relationships with everyone. That would be nice. That would be so severely nice. Hmm. I'm just gonna sit here and just wait. 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 You know what? I while we're waiting though, I might as well break off a guy right here. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna get an early bark all ready for this. Get him right here. And then you guys right here. Yeah, continue protecting trade. We're gonna we're gonna be insanely ready for when this event happens. Like, I already have my people willing and ready to go explore. Let me go get my people right here. He's already, like, this ship, the Santa Marta? I'm pretty sure there's some kind of, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of joke there. I don't, and there's some kind of ironic thing about that. But the Santa Marta will be the first place to discover the new world. We have a couple days. Oh, man, we're almost there. We're almost there. Ah, uh, England, our faithful ally, has declared war on France. Uh, gotta be kidding me. By the way, there's a new Holy Roman Emperor, but you gotta be kidding me. Oh, gosh, dang it. Uh, this means that this is an actual war I'm gonna have to fight, and then, uh, the worst part about it is that I don't have enough power for them. Oh, gosh. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna have to join in on an opposing side that's literally twice as bigger than me. Okay, okay, I will join this war as long as I take the head helm of the militaristic leader. Okay, did I take the leadership? No, I did not. Well, you're not negotiating on my half, there, uh, England. Okay, Portugal did join in. That's good. And I guess we're gonna do little tiny spurts into their land and. So, yeah, it seems like the first year of colonization, we are going to be at war with our good friends, France, France, who have an insanely big military, which I am kind of scared of. Can, we, can I bring in Austria, too? Can I just, like, call my friends Austria? Because they would love to come into this. I bet you anything. Bet you anything they would love to come into this. And apparently I'm losing money. Easy way to solve this. <laughs> oh, I love wartime taxes. Okay. Oh man, did not, did not see that coming. I should have saw that coming, but I did not, um, since we are at war, I should probably start sending some of my early Karaks to start bombarding them with constant sieges, so to make sure we own this. Is there any, like, evil ships I have to worry about? There's two a Janenoa ship right there, but I, I doubt it's going to be much helpful against my powerful ships, so we're going to go send this. The Doctrine of Papal Judgment! Uh... Again, I will not get reform desire. Okay, um, a, a really bad leader who has really good, like, generalship abilities about to engage, and at the same time as we are about to have a major battle between us and Forms, I have just gotten the ability to gain our first leader. 
and we all know what that means, guys. Uh, requires. F Dang it! Mm. Okay, well then, I'm sorry, people. That after all this time, after all this waiting, after all this, we're just gonna have to wait until next episode. Holy shoot! They are building up a big army. Is France? Uh, ah, never mind. I should say I should be mad at these guys, but I I probably know that England was probably not gonna do anything, and I'm gonna be the one that's gonna have to fight this. But that's gonna be for next time, people. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.